I want to talk about ego and its role in your trading. Now, everyone in this talk today has obviously heard the term ego. And, I, and I'm willing to guarantee that almost everyone knows that ego is not necessarily a good thing. But I believe that the term ego has been too loosely thrown around. That there are too many assumptions by people that they know what it is. Because the vast majority of time when I ask someone, what exactly is ego? Can you show it to me? Almost everyone gets stumped. I said, well, okay, listen, define ego for me. Most people can't define it. Most people haven't sat down to understand or even think, what exactly is ego? What is it? Where is it? Can I touch it? Can I see it? What exactly is it? Some people will give me this loose uh, uh, dictionary-like description of what ego is, but I can tell that there's not some deep understanding of what it is, and I need you to understand what it is. Ego traders is simply your thoughts. Think about this. Your thoughts are actually make up your ego. Your ego is that voice inside of your head that will never freaking shut up. It's the voice that's constantly talking to you throughout the day. It's your thoughts. It's the voice that's constantly making you doubt. It's that little tiny voice that makes you hesitate. It's that little tiny voice with the famous word but, but Oliver, but wait Oliver, what about this Oliver? Did you consider this Oliver? Look at that Oliver. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you better not go there quite yet Oliver. It's that ego. Ego is your thinking apparatus. And so, if ego is your thinking, and ego is not good, then the way to be free of your ego is to be free of thought. Now, whenever I have this conversation, this psychological talk about trading and the ego, is it, it confuses so many people. It throws them. Like, Oliver, what do you mean that I'm, I'm not supposed to think? No. You're not supposed to think when you're trading. Listen to me carefully, traders. Your thoughts are actually your problem. Your thoughts are your problems. Your thinking is why you're here and not a master yet. Your thinking is the root cause of every single one of your trading mistakes, your trading errors. It is the reason that you lack process, progress today. Your thoughts, your thoughts are your enemy. When I trade, there is not a single thought, not one thought comes to me. Not a single one. There's only action. Now, I, I, this is subtle, but I need you to understand this. We're going to go into it layer by layer, layer by layer, until we reach this really, really deep understanding of this. Einstein said it best. Ego equals thought. This is from Albert Einstein. This is his equation, his formula. Albert Einstein said, ego equals thought. Thought equal must mean that you do not know. If you do not know, it means that you are uncertain. And when you are uncertain, 
you're almost guaranteed to act badly. Look at the formula. Ego equals thought. I have a thought. From this, if, if I have a thought, it must mean that I don't know. If I don't know, it must mean that I'm uncertain, unbalanced. I am off. Which means that if I act from being uncertain, if I act from being off, if I act from not knowing, if I act from being off balance, my action does not come from a firm foundation, so that action must be bad. And so here's what you do. You, I think Apple is going to go up from here. Then you act from the thought and that action is bad. I think the market is going to start going down. And from that thought right there, you act based on that thought that the market is going to go down. I think this is a short opportunity and it is that thought that produces a faulty action. Now listen to me carefully. Let's, del let's, let's go deeper with this idea that thinking is bad in your trading and thinking is bad in life most of the time too. Think. Now, no pun intended, but think about this. Okay. If I were to ask you, what is your name? Unless you are really, really drunk, you would not have to think. My name is Michael. If I were to ask you, if you were next to your wife or your husband, and I were to ask you, um, oh, by the way, is that your wife? You better not think she will punch you in the face. No, wait a minute. Let me think. Um, she was my wife when we left the house 20 minutes ago. Um, I think she's still my wife. No, you don't have to do that. You know that's your wife. You know what your name is. You see, when you know, there is no thought. I'm going to repeat that. When you know, there is no need for a thought. What is your name, Oliver? No thought, just action, Oliver. Is that your wife? Yes. No thought is in between my response yes it is just pure action that is where i need to get you no thought between the recognition of an opportunity and the action it is the space between the recognition of an opportunity in the market it is the space between that recognition and your ultimate action that causes all of the psychological damage. But is the psychological damage. Wait is the psychological damage. If is the psychological damage. All of the thinking that happens in between the recognition of an opportunity and your final act, it is that's the psychological and emotional problem. But when you know you can't think. Listen to this carefully. When you know something, a thought is not possible. Thinking is only possible when you don't know. Once again, let's use two examples. What is your name? Michael. Okay, no thought necessary. How many miles from where you stand to New York City? Wait a minute. Now you have to think. Why? Because you don't know. When you know, there is no thought. When you don't know, you have to think. Now here's the problem in the markets. That you're acting when you don't know which means that you're acting from a thought, not from what you know. 
And Einstein says, if you're acting from a thought, you're acting from uncertainty, which is guaranteed to be a bad action. My job is to get you beyond your thoughts, which will automatically be getting you beyond your fear, getting you beyond your certainty because fear and uncertainty live inside of your thoughts. Fear can't be present when you know. Uncertainty can't be present when you know. So my job is to get you to know. My job is to free you from your thoughts during your trading. You want to think all day long? Go knock yourself out. But when you trade, you can't think.